Welcome to my channel. I'm Noah, and I'm all about showing the world China's hidden treasures. Today, we're in Huangyao, known as Dreamland Hometown, Mini Guilin, and the home of the ancient immortal well. Huangyao Ancient Town is absolutely a charming little gem of Guangxi province. Literally a gem! Huangyao's eight streets are all made of blue stone slab, and this entire area is a karst landform, meaning that it's all limestone. You probably noticed all the mountains jutting up in the background view of the town. Throughout history, this made it difficult for enemies to invade here, but Huangyao is hiding a gem more precious than any mountain or rock. Friends, keep your eyes on the immortal ancient well. Does drinking this water make you immortal? Not quite. But scientists have actually reported that this water does have special properties that can improve one's health long term. I just had to get me some of that magic water. So I decided to wash my shorts in the well. That's the hardest I've worked to wash clothes in my life. Hopefully, I'll be feeling immortal in these shorts tomorrow. Huangyao is full of history. Besides having the ancient well, Huangyao used to be a major political hub. In 1945, the Guangxi Working Committee moved to Huangyao where it carried on important underground propaganda activities during the Sino-Japanese War. I just want to take a moment here to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe and turn on those post notifications because I'm going to guide you deep into all of China's most beautiful ancient towns. Now let's talk about some funky nature. That's right, Huangyao is full of all kinds of old and funky nature. There's the Shishang tree which grew out of a rock. Then there's the sleeping immortal tree. As the story goes, there was a god partying in Huangyao with his buddies when he drank a little bit too much, passed out on this tree, and when he woke up, the tree had molded into his sleep position. Then there's the most famous tree, the Dragon Claw Banyan. With roots tangling down like a monster's claws, this tree looks like it's straight out of Harry Potter. But unlike Hogwarts, Huangyao has an incredibly peaceful presence. In addition to all the nature, it also has 20 temples. That's the most of any ancient town I visited. I can't get enough of this sleepy little town. There's something about Huangyao that feels like it's full of ancient secrets. Maybe it's the magical well. Maybe it's the history of underground activities here. Or maybe it's all the trees that look like monsters. I can't help but feel that I just scratched the surface of Huangyao. But for better or for worse, this town is changing. When I was in Huangyao, there was construction everywhere. Apparently, Huangyao is in the process of becoming a level 5A tourist site, which is the highest level there is. If you're watching this video in 2022 or 2023, Huangyao is going to look very different than it did in my video. I don't know how to feel about it, but I'm hoping that drawing a bigger crowd here will make the place more lively and exciting. If you're interested in checking out more towns like Huangyao, check out my Chinese Ancient Towns playlist on top of the screen right here. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure.